Welcome to the awakening today. Today I've got a lot to talk about. I was thinking I was going to make the awakening this program where you meet me on a day to day basis uh, with Moving On TV and we can talk about the plans of how I see this and how I take you from the dark into the light with Moving On TV and about what's going on in our world. Um, but more than anything today, I, I want to, as I said, I want to talk about my plans for moving on TV. As I say, the darkness is everywhere. The mainstream are giving you one side of the coin all the time. It's not your channel. They don't care about you. They don't love you unless you fit the exact parameters that they want you to. Here you go, my perfectionism again. <laughs> Unless you fit the parameters that they want you to, you're not going to fit the narrative. You're not, I don't fit the narrative. I mean, look at me. <laughs> That's the beauty of moving on TV. It is simply amazing, just like the book. Like every single one of you is simply amazing. And that's what moving on TV is. It's for every single one of you. Now, if one or two people watch this program, I want to invite you on in some capacity onto moving on TV, whether it's to realize your dream as an actor or host or hostess, talent, sponsor, someone who could do the marketing and take it away from me. I'm sure there's a way we can figure it out. I'm all for bartering. I'm for the consciousness of bartering. And I believe that together, if we barter and bring Moving On TV together, then there will be money. There will be humanitarian money for us to go out there and do this properly. To create a media, to a choice for the, for the masses. So, they don't just have to watch that box. They can watch that box, but they can shift into a channel, into moving on TV that gives them the stuff that they really need to know, where they are hosting their own shows, where everyone is a celebrity. And I am going out there to create it. So you may as well come aboard now. <laughs> and so we create it together because I'm very loyal as my friends know, if they are there for me, I am there for them. And even if I don't contact you on a daily basis, or I don't send you things, or I don't, co don't ring you, or I can't talk to you at the moment, because we don't always have things to talk about, because we're all going through our own awakenings in different ways. Some of us are similar, and I find it easier. But if I can't talk to you, it doesn't mean I don't love you. It doesn't mean I'm not joining with you. It just means that I'm not able to face some stuff. And I watched quite a few healers yesterday. And one of them said, look, if you want to go to bed for two weeks, because you've done this for now for three months or whatever, you've continuously given. And yes, I've continuously given and given and given. And every day I get up and I do my work for the universe and for humanity. And for each and every one of you, to have a better life because that's what I want. I do the interviews, I do the editing, and I'm not saying that I do this because I'm a martyr, I do it because I love it. If I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. There's no way on this planet that I would do anything now that I do not really enjoy or love. Yes, sometimes it gets on my nerves when I can't get Adobe to work or, you know, but I get past it. And I love it, and so I do it. So what I'm saying is I'm building a new media, a new MSM, a new mainstream of truth, of compassion, of love, of innocence coming together to say, we do not consent, I ain't having it. And if I get one or two views or three or ten, I hope that whoever is watching it is able to feel that someone cares about them, because I do. And I want you on board because you're all special and you all have talents. And I know you're running around like headless chickens watching this, that, and the other that's sent to you. But that's why I'm creating this safety net. 
Moving on TV is a safety net. I, as Lauren, cannot do it on my own. I, as Lauren Hope, Glory, cannot do it on my own. I need to create that safety net with all of you. And that's what YouTube is, thank God, and Facebook and Instagram is to bring it all together into one platform, moving on TV, to give you the hope to be simply amazing, as the book said. <laughs> Peace the cat is snoring in the background. That's what he does to contribute today. He snores in the background. So I got up today and my first feeling was, how am I gonna heal this body without money? I figure out stuff, I figure out a lot of stuff about pain, I take myself from dark into light and the pain disappears. I had a really exciting experience yesterday, which I'm going to share with you, of how pain came into my body and I realized what it was so quickly that I was able to heal it and it went. And that was watermelon juice. Um, last year, I got the same conclusion that watermelon juice, when it's in chunks, if it comes out of chunks uh, and you eat the chunks and drink the juice, you may suffer and get sick. And it happened to me last year. When I just drank the juice or just ate the watermelon on its own, I was fine if it was very diluted with water. But the minute I got the watermelon chunks in the juice and drank everything and ate the chunks, that was it. It was like a poison myself. <laughs> the only way I can explain it, the pain in my body, I, 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 I was whacked because so much sugar, so much sugar all at the same time. And maybe there's an imbalance with potassium with me. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. So what I'm saying is I was able to fix that very quickly. So I'm able to help you as well to understand this. But there are people out there, their job is to heal you. People, people like Kai. People like Paul McDonald, people like Kai, they are putting all the emphasis into healing the mind, the body, and the spirit to get you to a level of ascension. My job is the media and the music and to write and to bring you all together and to send the messages out. I am the messenger. I'm a messenger. I'm, I'm an instrument of God. My hands are an instrument of love to give you everything that's out there all the truth everyone has a right to say the truth everyone and that's where the mainstream media goes wrong i asked them to join years ago and they just didn't get back to me i asked to have a small channel on freeview and i was quoted six hundred thousand pounds for half an hour 20 minutes of the half happy news 600,000, not 600, 600,000. That hopefully is going. And if not, then we bring it together. We create that platform. That platform were black and white and Jew and Muslim and Christian and Buddhist and alien at some point all sit together and discuss how we're going to keep our planet in love and compassion. Where do you see that on mainstream? Will you bring on someone like Mark Steele to talk about 5G and the dreadful dangers and risks? And then you bring on someone who says, no, this is rubbish. Where do you see that on mainstream? You do not see it where the adverts and commercials are about love and compassion and giving you good food and teaching you how to heal yourself. All these amazing people, they are the adverts. They are... The, the breaks in between programs are you. <laughs> well, there are no breaks in between the programs. The adverts come on at the end after you watch your program. But come on, guys. If, you, if we put the adverts on at the end, you're not going to watch them. But they're about you and they're about healing. And you're going to want to watch the adverts. You're going to want to watch something exciting like Paul McDonald or Kai or Mark Steele as an advert. You're gonna to want to watch that tiny snippet. There's an idea. You're gonna to want to watch them. The minute you watch a little preview of them, you're gonna to rush to wanna to watch their program and to learn their truth and yours and mine. 
If you don't have the money, then come on board and take the printing off me. Come on board and do the marketing for me. We need someone to do the marketing. I am saying that to you. This is not about money. <laughs> I'm happy if I have a, a home to live in that I don't have to get kicked out of, and you all deserve that, a commune ideally, a car that drives, salads and food that we all deserve, and to be in the sun when I want. That's it. Any more money would go towards humanitarian causes, as you know. I'd have orf an orphanage for children. I couldn't bear the thought of children not having like Kusabala, who I need to interview at some point, who, who has a, a, a Ugandan orphanage. And he can't even raise 600 pounds at the moment. That is right. Now I'm a very honest person and I, over the lockdown, I broke a tooth. My teeth, there's something wrong with my minerals and I'm checking it out, something's not right. And you have to forgive me if you don't watch my programs because you can see that my teeth, are something wrong with my teeth, then shame on you. Because everyone is welcome on here, whether you're disabled, I, I don't give a shit. Uh, sorry, I don't say, usually say shit. I don't give a man. <laughs> what you do, uh, as long as you don't offend me and you don't offend my fellow man and you don't uh, manipulate and abuse and, and use violence and bad language and blatant sexual um, behaviors that are just not moralistic, which is the whole of the mainstream now, and blatantly pushing in our face chemicals which make us sick, destroy the environment, give you cancer, give you diabetes, give you sugar, sugar, sugar. Do you know, do you know that the diabetes, biggest diabetes cancer, uh, sorry, the, the biggest diabetes charity in the world, in this country, when you go to the supermarkets, they give you cakes, okay? No comments, can you see where I'm coming from? They're not coming from the heart, it's all about money. They want you to be sick. If they didn't want you to be sick, they'd give you fruit. Maybe, but not huge amount, because again, a lot of sugar. They want you to have diabetes, because then they'll give you more medicine and more medicine. And then you'll get other side effects. Do you understand? It's an industry. Moving on TV is not. I work in a corner of my room at the moment to you. And then it might be the garage or a room that someone might give me. Hopefully, it's got to be warm, guys. I kind of be in the cold in the winter. I'm just not able to do it. Sorry. That's moving on TV. And we're growing. And we're growing with you. Each and every one of you is growing. When you come on moving on TV, you get social media from me. I put your stuff out on Instagram. I'm going to do a shorter thing of this to tell people why they need to come on Moving On TV. I'm going to do a little advert, what you get. I will cut this bit. What do you get when you come on to Moving On TV? Welcome to Moving On TV. This is the channel to be yourself. Ta-da! Be yourself. <laughs> Have fun. Shine. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> as long as you don't harm the universe, as long as you don't harm humanity, as long as you're not giving out messages of destruction, of hurting innocence, the environment, humanity, as long as you're not about chemicals. Um, of course, there's chemicals in food. I'm talking about SLS and parabens and, and aluminium and mercury. You know what I'm talking about. If you're coming on here to give a good message, we do it together. If you don't have the money, we barter. We find a way. We sit down together. I do the programs. I make your adverts, but you have to do something as well to send out your, your message. So this is a message to anyone who wants to come on and work with me on Moving On TV. You can pay. I do all the social media. And as you can see, I'm on everything every single day you will get the exposure. I do a playlist today, and you will be on one of those playlists, and you'll go out 
probably once a week, sometimes it depends. If your message is really important, it goes out usually once a week. If it's a humanitarian or environmental, uh, if it's collective, then bartering is obvious to me. But if you've got a lot of money and you really want to invest in a good media, a good mainstream media that's going places, come and board moving on TV. I will give you everything, my heart and my soul, as I do every day. Everyone knows that. You saw what Paul McDonald put on there, the little advert that he put on there. Come on board Moving On TV as, a, as a, um, a host of your own program or a sponsor. You sponsor Moving On TV because you've got the money that I don't have. And we get on that box. I'm pointing to the box by the window. We become the mainstream. We are sky. We are re higher than the sky. We are the consciousness, the new consciousness together. We do it together. I'm going to cut this little bit and it'll be an advert. So anyway, what, the other thing I wanted to talk about on the awakening was when I, I have suspicions that something that loves us has created um, these spanners in the work. You have to do your research and you have to look at things of like, for example, the neighbors of this cop. That's, that they say killed this man, this black man, Floyd. They said he was a real estate agent. Now, come on. They said he wasn't a policeman. They didn't even understand that. You need to question everything. And that's what Moving On TV is. This is a platform that I've been given to question everything, question everything. Whatever is being shown to you with these eyes, from the television that we have at the moment, telling you to look this way, not that 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 way, and not from here, from the heart. Moving on TV is saying to you, look from here. When you look with the eyes, you can see that Lauren has lost her teeth or losing her teeth. Okay, and I'm sorry about that. If you don't like it, then tough. I'm doing everything I can at the moment. If you don't like it, tough. But if you look from here, you're gonna see the love. You're gonna see beyond this body. You're gonna see beyond the shit. You're gonna see beyond the fact that one side of my hair is longer than the other. You're gonna see that I have a tendency to play with my hair like a child. You're going to see beyond. You're going to see beyond. You're going to ask questions, ask questions. Why is this? What is this? When you come from here, you use your wisdom. And could it be that everything is perfect? That's what I think. Everything is coming up for a reason. You can now see the huge amount of racism. Black people that hate us because we're not black. They hate us because we're not black. They put out Black Lives Matter, but every life matters. I love everyone regardless of who they are and what they are. What are you going to do in Aliens Land? And there will be disclosure. Disclosure is coming, probably the last one. They, they could be green or gray or they're probably living within us. I'm probably one of them for you know. I know I am. You need to start understanding the truth. The truth is being withheld from you. Moving on TV is bringing it back. If you don't like the way I present a program, come on board and do it. <laughs> if you want to interview, come on board and interview. I can't pay you at the moment, but you'll get the exposure. And my prayer as the next protests and everything that goes on in the street is shouting end pedophilia and sex trafficking on children and, and adults and organ harvesting of innocence and 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 bring it all up bring it all up bring all the shit up and satanistic ritual abuse give john wedger the glory that that man deserves bring it all up on the street Shout and scream as much as you can. 
end it, but don't hurt each other violently. Just assert yourself and say enough is enough. Kneel on the ground, but kneel in front of innocence and God. God is love. Kneel to the children that have been massacred and eaten and whose blood they've used. The rich and the greedy celebrities and sex slave them. The royals that have used children, innocent babies. Kneel on the ground for the, the fact that they're allowed to abort a full-blown baby. Kneel on the ground to the innocence and say, no, don't kneel to that system anymore. You are worth so much more. Kneel on the ground to innocence, to love to the power that you have inside you, to be this incredible, 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 intelligent human. Kneel on the ground to the messengers of love, the messengers of God that are giving you the opportunity. Liz Crokin has been telling you for years and years and years about Satanistic ritual abuse. So is John Wedger. Kneel on the ground to say thank you. Not to say thank you system for making me a slave, but no, thank you God for making me a wise, intelligent, graceful human to see all the shit that's coming up now in our world. How do you think I figured out that I was allergic to watermelon juice? Because I felt the pain. I and then I knew I don't need it anymore. So I won't have watermelon juice like in quantities that I was having. The same happened in the therapeutic community in two years. I kneeled, I fell on the ground and I surrendered and I cried and I cried and I said, make me happy. Give me some peace. I was abused. No one compensated me, no one paid. I didn't know that I thought it was my fault. Children are not to blame for anything, guys. Children are not to blame. It's the adults. We have let our world get out of such control. We have let our world go wild. Every single horror movie is being acted out in our world. Wake up. This is the awakening. Kneel on the ground to the fact that I will send this to you, no matter who you are, and ask you to watch it. And I'm not scared to say to you, whoever you are, don't bullshit me anymore, because I am in my strength. I am kneeling on the ground metaphorically to the wisdom, the love, the consciousness, healing the body, getting rid of the old system and bringing in the love and the equality. I am kneeling on the ground to all the teachers that taught me to never, ever kneel to them again, to that system. So. <laughs> what are you going to do today to heal humanity heal yourself first what are you doing today to get up off your asses get up off watching that mainstream are you going to go out and do something kind for another human are you going to sit there to wait for me and all the other light workers to do it for you shame on you Do you know what? Those of you that are meditating, 
those of you that are sending around petitions and the stuff that I put out and are trying to help to build Nassar and Jassara to build this new beautiful world of bartering and love and sharing where we all fit before it's too late for people that are getting old and they just won't be here before it's too late for all of us if we don't you are warriors i kneel in front of each and every one of you who are doing god's work love's work we kneel together in front of this consciousness this light this god that i never really knew what it was until now but those of you that don't want to listen those of you that are propagating the system that has destroyed millions and millions and trillions of lives from the beginning of time from the time when abraham was told to walk into Canaan and massacre the pagans in the name of god no that is not god because he wanted to bring in a new Israelite religion? That is not God. That is not God. You may believe it if you want, but how can it be God? God would not give you a message to massacre your fellow man. It does not work like that. That is your ego. <laughs> Abraham must have had some kind of power thing that he needed to do it. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work for me or a lot of people. And the beautiful Jesus came along and he was a Jewish rabbi. And all he did was tell people to love each other, not to kill each other, not to hurt each other. I'm a Jew and I was brought up to believe that I killed him. That's how I was brought up already, fear and anger and rage and discontent and cutting me off because I'm different. I wasn't allowed to see the film when I grew up, grew up in Israel. I wasn't allowed to say, to study the New Testament until I left Israel. The New Testament is full of love. It's love, 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 love. Jesus was pure love. And now we are all the Christ. Each and every one of us is part of that. Even those of you that are sitting there and won't get off the box and keep watching the rubbish and the violence, you're getting fed up. You're getting fed up with the lies. If not, then <laughs> not even say. You'll just move on. You'll leave the planet and you've done your work. But while you're here, you have a responsibility. And just one more thing before I read the How to Stay Sane in the Crazy World card. Bambi. All the films that they made for children from the time you're a tiny child, they killed Bambi's mother. Why do you think they did that to a tiny child? To show a tiny child that the world is shit and to hurt them instead of teaching them that Bambi's mother, if she died, came back as an angel or explained to them that death is only the beginning. Maybe a ch the child wouldn't have been so frightened and grown into a child that I grew into or that you grew into, a child that, that just didn't know what they're here for. Now I know why I'm here. Why are you here, my darling? Every single child's fairy tale is about wicked witches and lots of symbolism in there pain power rapunzel her mother locks her up in a tower <laughs> sounds familiar the lockdown everything from the time you're born the fear and, and and the fact that you're different or disconnected they disconnect you from love from the beginning but yeah love always conquers all in fairy tales Maybe there is some good there too. But first of all, they put you into the pain and the grief because we are attached and we are brought up to be attached. And of course they can sell more afterwards. 
or they can get more depressed people, more mentally ill. You're probably mentally ill because you're so sensitive that it upset you seeing Bambi's mother shot. They shot her and you heard it in Bambi. How can you do that to a tiny child? But that's what they do. And then they teach you that you can't function because that happened to you. You don't get past it and more shocks happen. That's a progression of where we ended up. But I'm looking forward to the next crack, or the ne as Laurie Ladd says. I'm looking forward to the next thing happening, showing us the, 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 the shit and the, sorry, the merde and the system and the nonsense and, and the lies and the illusions and the crap. Wake up. How can there be social distancing when everyone is out there rioting together? <laughs> Wake up, guys. You're just watching another movie. Get your popcorn. Enjoy the show. Participate. If you feel there's injustice with animals or whatever you want, go out there and wave your flag. Now is the time. That's what we do on Moving on TV. Email me at movingontv1 at gmail.com. Put your injustice out there on Watch Doggy and together we try and get rid of it. Together we try and change it. We start small and we get bigger. We've got big interviews on there, as you know. Take them seriously. You may not agree with them. Well, come on board Moving On TV and debate them. I haven't had anything back from those that don't agree. Why are they not coming on board and debating? Anyway, I said a lot today. So I'm going to read the card to you. How to stay sane in a crazy world. You can get the book, Simply Amazing. Chapter 8 is where I am. And the cards for me. £12. Uh, if you email me or contact me. You can get them from the Positivity Centre in Ashton Lane. I think they charge the same. When the shop is open, I'm not sure when they open the shop. She's lopsided. <laughs> anyway, got my interview in an hour with Alison DeMarco, another wonderful spiritual healer, psychic, but I'm coming out of my shell today because I just did Kai Ashley's tapping last night. And I am asking you to come on board properly. Paying, bartering, marketing. So from now on, anyone who comes on board moving on TV, we need to have an agreement in some kind of an agreement where you will send around your program and bring in the subscribers or something, <laughs> something to help us grow. Okay. Don't just view the programs, sign up. <laughs> I just got gratitude. There you go. Gratitude. Today, I will be grateful. It really is true that gratitude helps us to feel better. Start off being grateful today for the good in your life. When I was a wheelchair, I found that I could be grateful for my pets and for the flask of tea that was left for me every day. Get a pen and write down five things. I'm grateful for at least five things on a moment by moment basis. I gotta go guys, Alison is here. Apparently we're starting at four. Love you lots. Take care. Bye.